Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this clip, we talk about some of the unique challenges of troubleshooting baggy paper. While every web might make claims for unique troubleshooting challenges, the case for paper is quite strong. First, we have hundreds of forming elements on any machine. By forming element, I don't just mean that a component touches the web, but that it is also known to, or intended to, change the web. Second, the number of arenas that one would need to know for paper is very wide. Third, while the root cause of bagginess with most webs is simply a caliper profile variation that gets stretched upon winding, Paper has other ways of making bagginess directly, even before it hits the winder. One example is moisture variation that may or may not stem from a basis weight or caliper variation. Finally, if that were not enough, trials and errors on paper machines are extremely expensive. Something like $20,000 per hour on a wide modern machine. Tight, or especially baggy edges, are a persistent feature of nearly every paper machine to some degree. Both have a smile or frown shape. The challenge is that every paper machine element is not only a forming element, it is also known to have a smile or frown shape, despite our best efforts otherwise. This means that no elements can be eliminated by the shape argument. In addition to components, the web itself has a frown shape with respect to CD stresses on most machines. The stresses in the middle are biaxial, while the ends must be uniaxial as determined by mechanics. This is called unconstrained drying and results in the ends being different even if the paper machine components were dead level in every other respect. An expensive solution is known and would involve supporting the web throughout the machine with clothing. Until recently, that was about all that was known about edges with respect to bagginess. However, groundbreaking work by Frédéric Perron of FP Innovations showed the relationship between drying profile history and edge problems, as well as the solutions. This I reported on a clip in an earlier Baggy Web series. Aside from edges, we also have baggy and tight lanes that come and go. While complicated, we have reasons for hope here. Many of them are because the paper industry has a longer history than all other webs aside from textiles and the paper industry is, in general, quite technically strong. Even so, we must be extremely methodical when working with paper. The three most important troubleshooting attributes are location, location, and location of a single baggy or tight lane that you are studying. Merely recording roll letter position is worthless here. You must find the center of the lane, pull out the tape measure, and account for trim or center line changes. Then we sit back and let the paper machine do its own experiments. Eventually, that lane will change noticeably and abruptly, hopefully in the direction of improvement. Then we look at the maintenance log and see what they changed at that time. Examples might include headbox lip honing, wire changes, felt changes, shower cleaning, roller grinds, and so on. Note, we treat each lane separately for diagnostics because two adjacent baggy lanes that look and measure identically could have different root causes. In troubleshooting language, bagginess is an effect or outcome. It is not a cause. Yes, this is a bit of work to pull out the tape measure, 
But there is really no getting around it because bagginess is not measured directly by any other instrument, including your expensive scanner, but rather only observed with our eyes. Our eyes are more than sensitive enough for this, especially if you construct a nice light box or other control lighting. What our eyes lack is simply a quantitative location information that we can get from a tape measure. Both thickness and weight profile variations can cause baggy troubles. However, unlike many other materials such as film, rubber, foil, and so on, paper does not have a direct relationship between thickness and weight. While increasing thickness tends to increase weight, the ratio is not 1 to 1.000 as it is with incompressible materials. This adds complexity. Another bit of complexity is moisture profile that may or may not have its source in basis weight profile problems. Finally, many webs are calendared. Here, the relationship between thickness and weight seems to be even more complicated. However, we can easily separate the two on calendars only by noting that head boxes make weight after correcting for moisture, while calendars make density. This presumes that you have sufficient resolution of your weight and thickness measurements to be able to pick up a percent or so that a fussy winder might complain on. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical video series. Stay tuned for baggy web troubleshooting challenges unique to other web materials. Also, please be sure to watch earlier clips in this series as well as Web 201.05 through 09 as preparatory background. Oh, and of course, you should have all taken my Web 101 short course as essential background for any web challenges and especially baggy web challenges.